All right, guys. Happy New Year. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Hope you like this today. We're trying something a little bit different. We put the GoPro on my helmet and we tried taking some video of it. At least I didn't whack my head with a chainsaw today and wreck my GoPro on my head. Anyway, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. We're trying to crack the YouTube code and get stuff to go viral. I don't think it's going to happen because I'm not on Twitter. I'm not on TikTok and I'm not going to do any of that stuff. Anyway, take care. Have a good day. All right, guys. Welcome to Wayne's World Garage. We're at the sawmill today. It's Wednesday and we're going to get some poplar logs ready to cut up making defense boards. And uh, let's get it rolling here. We'll try something new here. I brought these two little 16 footers here, a little compared to this other one. And our buddy brought this big one here. This is a nice piece of poplar. Um, we'll see what it does, but it's longer than 16 foot. So we cut them down to 16 foot, five, six inches or so. And that gets the stump part off of it here. So we're gonna cut it right here and let it rip. And the same with some of these other guys. All right guys, so we're gonna try something a little bit new here. I got a GoPro on my helmet and a GoPro set up on the side to watch what's going on. Um, it may or may not work. Let me know how you think of it. So let me know what you think of it. Um, what we're doing here is this log is 18 foot long. Um, it really will barely fit on our sawmill. And we're looking for 16 foot long fence boards. So we're gonna cut two feet of it off and use the rest for something else. Additionally, if you look at the log next to it, to the right, you'll see it's got all sorts of branches and stuff coming out of it and all stubs and stuff. It's really hard to rotate this on the sawmill. So what I'm gonna do, and Pete's gonna help, Pete and I are gonna do this, is we're gonna cut some of that off to make it a little bit easier to use. Um, that's the story, I'm sticking with it. Uh, the saw we're using here is a steel MS-462CM. It's a great saw. So what we don't want to have happen here is for this wheel to pinch my blade and cause a kickback. Additionally, you got to pay attention because if this wheel wants to roll left or roll right, once it breaks free, it could snag my leg and so on, cause some drama. So we're just paying attention to that right now. We've got to be careful. You'll see us chalk the wheel.
All right, so this is the second part of that tree. Again, it's like 18 or 19 foot long, so we're gonna cut off the end. And you can see where I'm cutting it, where I start cutting it, that it branched out. So it was in a residential area, it got lots of sunlight. So we got 20, 25 feet of it nice and straight, and it started branching. And clearly we don't want this where it branches out. So we'll cut this off. Additionally, if you look at it, it's got a bunch of branches on it. The next one next to it does too. So Pete and I will work on getting rid of them branches so we can, getting rid of the branches so we can roll it over and mill a thing. What's that? You want me to run the stall a little bit? Oh, if you want to, sure. Fire it up. Fire it up. Uh, hang on. Let's, let me, uh, we're just, I was thinking just trimming these off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right.
So like I explained, when this log is on the rack, trying to roll it to square it up is impossible with these stubs sticking out. So what we're going to do is uh, cut these guys off so we can roll it a little bit easier and make boards out of it. But this is why it takes a lot of work to make lumber. And you get wood like this, which is not perfect. Um, you got to make it easy so the guys can roll it over and square it up. And that way you can get rolling. <laughs> So if you take a look at these other two pieces, there's no way they're going to fit on the rack and we're going to roll these over. So we're going to cut off the uh, extra pieces so we can make it so the guys can roll them.
I shouldn't be, but I'm so paranoid about getting in the dirt, you know, but I can sharpen them so quickly now, it shouldn't matter, but still. Yeah, yeah. You want to get those guys? Please stay safe out there. Be careful with your chainsaws. Be careful with what you're doing out there. And additionally, get yourself vaccinated, please. I had a close friend that lives nearby who spent several days in the ICU recently because he had COVID-19. And I said, dude, did you get vaccinated? He says, nah, I don't believe in that stuff. I already get vaccinated. I don't trust those companies one bit. And I said, look, I don't trust them one bit either. And you know what? Just like Facebook, they don't care about you. So let's go forward assuming that they don't care about you. And that's probably true. But you know what they do care about? They care about making money. And that's what they're in business for. They're in business to make money. If they screw this up, people are gonna get sick, people are gonna die, you're gonna hear about it. And they will lose money. They don't wanna lose money. How many people are getting vaccinated with a J&J &J vaccine? Nobody, they screwed it up. Pfizer and Moderna, are winning this battle. It works. The people filling up the hospitals are the ones who have not been vaccinated. The people being vaccinated are not getting terribly ill. They're getting cold symptoms, sniffles, they might be losing their taste for a little bit, but that's about it. Do me a favor, do the world a favor, take responsibility and get vaccinated. Does anybody get tuberculosis in this country anymore? Why is that? You all got vaccinated. Smallpox, measles, you got vaccinated. If you're gonna do the right thing, please do the right thing, take responsibility. Have a good day, stay safe guys.